But listen, yeah. we got something really, really I'm good really that I'm honored uh, to have a special guest on our show. I'm really excited. It's been in The Godfather 3, um, Sopranos, Goodfellas, just to name a few. I, I have to, I'm like waiting in my seat to announce him, please. Mr. Frank Albanese. Thank you so much for being here. My pleasure. Frankie. Thank you. My pleasure. What's going on, my buddy? You're my main man. <laughs> and, and you're, you're a man's man yourself. Oh, thank you. How you doing, bro? Very good. Before I go any further, I'd like to say I've been our guest on a few of your show, a uh, few other shows, and your food is the absolute best. <laughs> you can say I like my food. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Thank Frankie. you to all our donators. We'll get to that later. Frankie on. ate about 125 hours worth of food. Oh, oh yeah. But hey, right ahead, there's plenty more it. food. You eat all you want, buddy. We'll give you some to take home too. So. Tell us, please. You're um, a busy man. What's been yeah. going on? Well, I've been doing a lot of voiceovers. I'm the voice of. Um, I'm um, for Joseph A. Blank, uh, uh, ba Joseph A. Bank, excuse me, Joseph A. Bank Clothiers, and I've done a couple of uh, short subjects, uh, you know, low-budget movies. I've done a couple of commercials that are being shown out of town, and uh, then I did something here in Staten Island, uh, Dylan's Tree, uh, produced by one of the uh, CTV producers, uh, Lance Rea. Of course. Written by uh, Chris Mancuso. Who's very talented, by the way. Oh, they're very, oh, very, all very talented. talented. Let's go back a little. Let's yeah. talk about The Godfather. Uh-huh. Godfather 3? How was that? Very good. I, I was in Godfather 1 and 3. Okay. I was the hitman in Godfather 1, come bust in the room, shoot the guy and girl in bed. Okay. Oh, he I died happy. That was you? Uh, that was me. Uh, oh, and, uh, wow. And Godfather 3, I was the Grand Marshal leading the parade. Then they had this big shootout there, and uh, everybody's running in every which direction. Yeah, right. that, was, that was great. Right, that I remember. Goodfellas, one of my favorite <laughs> all-time movies that actually corrupted me, and probably a hundred other, <laughs> hundred other million p kids in... Uh, Staten Island, everywhere Staten else. Staten Island, New York, but uh, you played Henry Hill's lawyer? Yeah, I played Henry Hill's... Uh, yeah, it was uh, when he sold, uh, was arrested, uh, busted for selling untaxed cigarettes. I yep, was his yep, lawyer. Yep. When he was a child, when he was young, uh, Henry Hill, uh, when he was a teenager. I mean, that, that movie will go down in history. I thought it was a Martin uh, Scorsese's Finest Hour. No, Great big, movie. Big time, big time. The best part was your beautiful smile. <laughs> Looking at the judge. Yeah, that was great. Give him the high sign. No, <laughs> the fix is in. Do as you're told. You now, know. how was it working with Robert De Niro and Joe Pesci? Very, very. They're, they're, they're professionals. That's top professionals in my book. Well, well, Robert De Niro, just, you know, forget about it. He's, well, he's very, very centered. He's, he's very, very business. Like Joe Pesci, well, he used to be a comedian. He likes to kid around a lot. But yeah. Robert De Niro is very serious on the set, you know. And actually, that was Frank Vincent's break in that with the Go Get Your Shine Box scene, right? Yeah. Well, he and Joe Pesci had a uh, comedy, uh, do a comedy team together. Oh, I never knew that, really. And they're very good friends, you know. <laughs> but in a couple of movies, uh, Joe Pesci ended up killing a uh, Frank Vincent Casino and yeah, in good was, was great. Right, now, what right. about it? a mutual friend of ours, uh, Vito Pacone? Yeah, that was his. Uh, yeah, his he debut. was. Uh, he was in that uh, bar scene where they killed uh, Frank Vincent. Yeah. Well, actually, uh, when I was, wow, well, 1995, when I started my record label, I, I named it Shine Box Records after that one scene. <laughs> but uh, you know. Never went anywhere, but I still got the name. <laughs> and he has was his AOL account, Shinebox7 at but, AOL. Uh, why not? Now with Sopranos now, let's talk about that. How was it working with James Gandolfini and the crew? Oh, there were great people. The crew, uh, the, all the, I worked with four different directors that were great. Frank, Fig no, John Figgis, mm -hmm. uh, Phil Abraham, uh, Tim Van Patten, and last but not by no means least, David Chase. He was great uh, writer, great director. Mm -hmm. Now, that was probably the best show that you worked on that you got fed oh, at, right? Oh, definitely. I, I loved that. I worked on that. I said, it's a shame it stopped uh, so soon. I think, they, you know, they could, could have went a few more years. I, I think they just uh, stopped caring about the writing because it got so big. Like, you get, like, some actors, some bands, they get so big, they, they, they lose the focus on what they started and what they created. Yeah, they were sort of uh, they were slipping a little bit, but, you know, they were still had uh, extremely high ratings. Yeah, you know? of course. I love this. It's my, one of my favorite uh, uh -huh. shows. But uh, towards the end, probably like sixth season, and uh, I think they ruined it a little when they did a little bit of that homosexuality. Uh, they kind of took away the, the toughness of the mob, but you know. Yeah, a lot of people didn't like that. They got a lot of uh, a lot of uh, mail, email, and whatever. They're the saying they didn't like that. Uh, yeah. But the first series one to five, excellent. You know, excellent. They were good. Why don't we show a clip of that, or you would? I thought you never asked. James that. Gandolfini, <laughs> classic uh, shot of Frank. Let's roll the tape.
Hello. Oh, Uncle Pat. Show house life at the old folks home. I don't like the people here. Do you know what time it is? Come on, I thought you were a night owl. Did I hear a rumor? There was a problem up there at the farm? I had a goddamn developer. Some environmental crap. They can't uh, start the demolition without some special permit. And the house is sitting there empty, damn it. All right, great. Cool. What an honor to have you here. Thank you. So that's Thank that, you. One, that one scene, for instance. Who is that? Was Tony here? Yeah, James is in the back. Okay. He's, waiting. He's next. All right, I was going to say, with that one scene, I know they like going over things. For that, for that say, one minute, how long did it take to shoot? We many... shot that. We did about six takes, mm -hmm. you know. That, he's, uh, uh, Tim Van Patten was uh, directing that uh, episode. And he's a perfectionist, so he yeah, just yeah. wanted it down just right. You know? So we had did about six or seven takes on that. Now, Francis, what was her last name? Esova, who played Paulie Warnett's mother? Yeah, yeah. Oh, she's that's not a lady, yes. yeah. Yeah, good lady. She actually started in, uh, co starred in one of my music videos back in 2004. Uh -huh. And I uh, got to hang out with him on a set when I, you know, I worked on The Sopranos doing background work. Every time you were there, I, was, I, I wasn't there. Then uh -huh. when I was there, you weren't there. So, but it was a good experience. You know, background is background, but it was good hanging out. Well, I started I was doing background myself, and you just work your way up. And that's uh, that's, how, the, that's how, the way the business goes. How many years did you do background? Well, I did about, about maybe eight years. Mm -hmm. Then I said, you know, now it's time to move up. And I started, you know, going for these uh, uh, bigger roles, talking roles. Mm -hmm. So people don't realize what it takes actually to do background, even though it's easy, long hours. Oh, very long hours. Long, long hours, and the pay ain't good. No, it's not very good, no. <laughs> it's less than minimum wage by the time you pay everybody out. But uh, it ain't that bad, but, you know, it is what it is. If you've got the passion to do acting and you want to make you it, to do it, you got to do it. You it's know, so out. anything else would you like to talk about? Well, you know, I, I also, a couple other things. I paid uh, Mr. Ca Mr. Paul Castellano twice. Okay, on, that's right. I got that right here. Once on America's Most Wanted, and once on Mouthpieces. It was a story about Bruce Cutler and uh, uh, Jimmy LaRosa. Mm -hmm. And I uh, I liked uh, portraying Mr. Castellano. Yeah, that must have been a good one. The John Gotti for all that. <laughs> so you prefer to play all the gangster roles? I do, actually. Yeah, it's fun. Although I haven't always played those roles. I did a Broadway. I mean, well, my... my most, I only did one Broadway gig, in which I played, strangely enough, Abraham Lincoln. Really? It was Ann Rutledge, was the name of the play. It was a 10-week gig, and I portrayed Abraham Lincoln. I didn't do the Gettysburg Address. I was just, a, actually, it was a smaller role, and I uh, uh, portrayed Abraham Lincoln, our 16th president. Very wow. nice. I can see a little resemblance there. Just <laughs> that, a little. That's crazy. <laughs> so out of all the things that you did, what was the most m memorable for you? And that'll probably last you a lifetime of memories. Well, I really, I goes without saying The Sopranos. I really mm -hmm. enjoyed doing that. We're working with the top professionals, top of the line, the actors, directors, yeah. uh, whatever, you know. Mm -hmm. I really enjoyed doing that very, very much. Do you see yourself, you know, getting involved with that more? Oh, definitely. They're going to make a movie, from what I understand. Yeah, that'd and, be uh, great. So they better use me. I'll make them an offer they can't refuse. <laughs> you better. <laughs> I they better love do it. something. I love it. Just make sure you drop my name while you're there. <laughs> and all of us, don't forget us here at definitely, the Johnny P definitely. Show. Definitely, definitely. And everybody in the audience, That's too. That's right. Why not? <laughs> well, we have a new thing with the Late Night with Johnny P Show. We got a giveaway with the guests, too. But out of all the guests, uh, Frank, you won a Frank Sinatra CD. Oh, thank you so, so much. So you can take that home with you. Oh, definitely. I appreciate this very much. <laughs> all right. one of my favorites. No, no problem. So you sit down. We're going to bring back up Urban Snake. Mm -hmm. And uh, Frank Albanese, everybody. Let's give him up.